Well, hello and thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video, we're just gonna do some updates, show you some of the artwork, like what's behind me that I recently completed, as well as a new up and coming tutorial video to launch my fire templates. And we're also gonna cover some of the course dates. So all that coming up right now. Okay, so here I have the completed Steampunk Girl artwork that I airbrushed at Meguiar's Motorex on the Ernest Iwata trade stand. I didn't get to finish the artwork at the show, but I did start it there and finished it off recently in the studio here. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you the completed artwork as shown here, airbrushed on canvas using Iwata airbrushes and Trident water-based airbrush colors. So this artwork was predominantly done freehand, meaning not a lot of masking at all, except for a little bit of masking in this section here, just to get that circle of the um, lens there on the mask. And I also masked out the outside edge to get that nice crisp line from the background. Okay, so you can see a bit of that smoke flame that you've seen me do many times coming out of that apparatus there on the mask. And just to give you some of the closer details here. There was a little bit of paintbrush detailing, especially on the lips and just in some of these areas on the mask, just to texture it up a bit more. But I used a lot of different uh, texture templates to create that sort of steampunk grungy look. Okay, so here we have a look at the fire panel that I recently completed. So as I mentioned, this will become a tutorial and this is uh, promoting my new fire templates designed by myself and produced by Airshot Stencils. So I will link up to them as well in the description. Now these uh, flames were completed uh, using the Candy 2O by Createx as well as some Trident paints. So thanks to Spray Gunner for sending these out to me to test. So you're going to get a better understanding of how I went about creating this particular artwork uh, on the aluminium composite panel that you see here in the upcoming tutorial. So there'll be a full on tutorial. So I hope you're pumped for that as I am and you can get to see how I utilize my templates and use the Candy 2Os to create this particular flame job. Okay, so for anyone that wants to learn how to airbrush, especially if you live in Australia, then we have two new course dates that have been set. Uh, we've got our level one introductory airbrush course, which kicks off on Saturday, the 6th of July. So that is designed for anyone that just wants to give airbrushing a go, see if you like it. It's a full day course. You've probably seen a lot of my videos um, focusing on that. If not, I will link up to those in the description below so you can check them out. Cover all sorts of basic training, uh, dagger strokes, lines, dots, all that sort of stuff, cleaning and uh, maintenance of the airbrush, as well as we do special effects, and then you do a feature artwork on a t-shirt. So you get a lot in that full day. Everything's provided, you just turn up, so meaning all the equipment's provided. Uh, so it's just a fun-filled day. Then for anyone that's been airbrushing for a while or has completed our beginner's course or even any other um, introductory airbrush course, so you need to know the basics of airbrushing to do our level two class. And our level two class kicks off on Sunday, the 7th of July, so the next day. So a lot of the beginners are deciding to do both days, but if you have already done the beginner's course, uh, then by all means you can book for that level two uh, workshop and that is designed for anyone that wants to further their airbrushing. You may have a project that you've been working on at home that you're struggling with or if you just want to, you've got a specific artwork that um, you just want to bring in and work on. 
that is what it's designed for. So I'm there to help you through that project. You may have seen videos on my workshops and if you haven't, I urge you to check them out. It shows you all the different artworks, what people are working on. So some people work on miniatures, sculptures, uh, synthetic paper, we've had canvas, t-shirts, so even helmets and some auto parts. So whatever it is you wanna work on, Basically, I can help you through it. So that's what the workshop is designed for. So there are our class dates, and I do hope to see you in either or both of those classes, and all the details for those will be in the description below. So check them out. If you have any other questions, by all means, reach out, and I'll help you out with that too. So I do hope you enjoyed today's update video and checking out the steampunk girl painting as well as the real fire on the white background. So stay tuned for this particular tutorial that will be coming out very, very soon. And um, it's gonna show you exactly how I painted those flames on that white background. So, and using the Createx Candy 2O. So super excited about that. If this is the first time to the channel and you like what I do, then feel free to hit subscribe. Tap on that bell icon that'll notify you every time I put out new content. And if you find that this video will be helpful for others, then make sure that you share it out to whatever community it is that you think would be relevant. And until next time, thanks for watching. Go grab that airbrush and do some amazing artwork yourself. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.